What's up guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is Kevin with Neato Design and today we're going to be installing the Nia Splitter on that Lexus IS. When purchasing the Nia Splitter, you'll receive 11 screws. You need a Phillips Stilly screwdriver, a 10 millimeter ratchet, a clip remover or a flathead screwdriver, and an angle driver. For installation. If your car is lowered and you're gonna jack up the car, always use jack stands for safety. So you'll notice on the splitter you'll see these uh, mounting points on the back of the splitter. Those are for your factory bolts. So what you want to do is remove all the bolts that align with these mounting points. So you use the uh, 10 millimeter ratchet. So after you remove all the clips, you want to wipe down the bottom of the bumper to remove any rock debris, anything that you might have and that will get on the way of the splitter. With the help of a friend or family member, align the splitter underneath the car and use the factory bolts that you just removed to align it back up underneath. When placing the factory bolts on, just make sure you put them halfway, that way they're still loose and you can align the splitter perfectly underneath the car. Once the factory bolts are holding up the splitter, this is when you come back with the uh, screws um, provided to you and just start drilling them through the uh, pre-drilled holes. When you're drilling them, make sure you drill them halfway. That way you don't over tighten them. Once all the screws are in halfway, that's when you go with the stubby screwdriver, hand tighten them. That way you prevent from over tightening them and stripping the bumper. Once your splitter is aligned, this is when you take your 10 millimeter socket and you start tying all the factory bolts. Once all the screws are tight, you're good to go. Thanks again for watching this video. Please check out our website for this and many other products that we have for the Lexus IS. Thanks again.